The statewide positivity rate, that's just under 19%. But look, that, that is still very high, although down significantly from about 30%, which is what we saw two weeks ago. But more than 3,000 people do remain hospitalized being treated for COVID. Our live team coverage continues with Christina Mendez, who spoke with a local doctor about whether or not we're out of the woods yet. Christina? Well, guys, doctors say they're not quite, but there is a light at the end of the tunnel. The surge here has been stretching on a little bit longer than where it started in South Africa, the Omicron variant. That's due in part because of a different demographic and also vaccination status. We're heading in the right direction. But if we let our guard down, we could, it could certainly get worse again. Dr. Esty Shabelman with Sinai Hospital says for the last month, Omicron has taken center stage. Seam splitting infection and hospitalization numbers are starting to tick down slightly after this surge broke all time high records. The daily positivity rate is coming down, but it's still higher than it's been in any previous surge. I think today's was 19%. This is a significant decline from a near 30% positivity rate two weeks ago. But the chief medical officer says we still have pavement to bound ahead. It's difficult to predict. I'd say we still probably have, um, you know, two to four weeks of the surge left. As the virus lingers, Dr. Shabelman says the most important things you can do to decrease the risk of the next variant developing, get vaccinated, wear a mask and social distance. You then prevent the spread of the disease. You prevent the replication of the disease and you prevent uh, new mutations from occurring. Neighbors say this is something they're willing to do. Going day to day and learning how to live with masks all the time and things like that is just now a fact of life. Don't just think about you. Think about everybody. You don't know what your neighbor's health situation is like. You don't know if you going out without a mask could be the reason they're in the hospital tomorrow. Doctors say there's two major differences between this surge and past two reasons. Number one, less workforce here. There's a lot less healthcare workers. And number two, fewer testing resources, which is why it's so crucial for you to take advantage of any drive-through, walk-up testing sites that either the city or the counties are offering. Plus, now the White House is also able to send you free four at-home testing kits. I'm reporting live tonight. I'm Christina Mendez for WJZ.